pagi tadi saya telah pun dikunjungi oleh ni pemimpin-pemimpin ni MC kebangsaan uh, dan juga pada masa yang sama laporan polis telah pun saya buat terhadap Datuk Sri Tiong King Seng atas kenyataan uh, yang saya sifatkan sebagai criminal defamatory yang uh, beliau lemparkan kepada saya kemarin I categorically deny that I had received a 10 million ringgit loan as alleged by Datu Sri Tiong and this is the work of people who are out to, to undermine my integrity and obligations as Minister of Transport and President of MCA it is clear that the motive and intentions of these individuals are to derail the efforts of the Ministry of Transport and Port Klang Authority with regards the issue of PKFZ. I treat this as another hurdle of the many that I have faced in my efforts to protect the interests of the people, in particular in handling the PKFZ issue. I have also introduced my lawyers, I have also instructed my lawyers to write a letter of demand to the makers of these defamatory statements to withdraw the allegations and apologize within seven days, filling which I will institute legal proceedings against the parties concerned. As president of MCA, I am confident that the party is strong enough to withstand such challenges and efforts to undermine it. The accuser, that is Tiong King Singh, in his remarks made yesterday, or rather in his uh, media interview yesterday, has failed to tell us exactly the so-called 10 million ringgit. Is it a loan? or a gift because we could see the element of ambiguity in his claims and on top of that I must also I must also say that on my own behalf as well as my party so far there, is, there has never been such a necessity to take a loan if he were to argue that it's a donation, then the onus should be on him to prove where the money went. The money simply cannot be evaporated or dissipated into thin air. And if at all, if at all, the said sum of money was offered as bribery that it makes all the more necessary for me not to proceed with the PKFZ prop. I remember yesterday my uh, political secretary issued a statement. I think, it, uh, well, based on his allegations, it simply means that, that he's trying to say, and I hired the service and uh, he made allegations that I did not pay. But anybody in his right frame of mind would know that now any transport arrangements for any minister or deputy ministers or even for any top executives of the company of companies, normally payments would be paid based on invoices. But so far, I think uh, my secretary has made it very clear yesterday in his statement. That there has no such invoices or whatsoever received by the office. Whether that is his or his people or whatever, is not the only is not the not the only service provider. I, I never say that uh, I only choose his. In fact, uh, uh, it means perhaps this is beyond your knowledge. I've been I've been using, I've been hiring services, I've been hiring services not just from 
one party. Yeah, you, you guess uh, just now the question asked was the charter flights related to this company, to this company. Of course, I, I am not here to tell you, you know, the daily, what do you call it, transport arrangements. You know, how many times I take ferries, how many times I take a commercial flights, how many times I take a Firefly or, or Air Asia or whatever. Is that right? Well, the thing is, the onus is on him, it's not on me. Because now that he is, he is making the allegations. Day before yesterday, the day before yesterday, in the findings of uh, the PKFZ Special Task Force, we came to know that uh, there was such an unethical overclaims of public funds, or rather to use the exact words used in the, the, the report, unethical and fraudulent claims of money on the project for items undone, undelivered in the project. So now that, what a coincidence, the same baseless allegations being made against me. And I would not be, of course, I've been uh, dismayed by such an unethical smearing and character assassination, but I wouldn't be surprised that there would be more to come. Nonetheless, I wish to reiterate one point. Anything categorized as falsehood, anything untrue, even if you were to repeat it a thousand times, it can, never be, it can never be true all of a sudden. It can never change its nature. Ni laporan telah pun dibuat telah pun dibuat atas ni tuduhan liar 10 juta ringgit macam ni banyak director ni ha banyak director ha